Hey guys, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and I just got in my horror block this for this month of July, and I already went through a little bit of it, and I want to show you this cool unboxing for this month's box. I think this box is a lot better than last month. It's got some cool shit to it, and uh... It's been coming a lot faster now since it's coming from Canada, so I'm very happy that it's coming. But it seems that they changed the uh, the shipping address, because now it's saying it's from Tonawanda, New York, which I think it's kind of close near me. But hey, that works. I'm happy. And they changed the uh, shipping label. The label now is... Uh, it doesn't show you what's in the box, which I like. I like it being a complete surprise. Whereas previous, you can go through the sticker and be like, oh, there's a vinyl figure, t-shirt, blah, blah, blah. So this is even more surprise. So let's open it up, shall we? Oh. All right. First off you see here is the Buffy the Vampire Slayer item that they put in the coat in the, the box. And it is uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Spike. It's a bloody Spike figure. Titans vinyl. I don't know what that is. But those are the other ones here. So I think this is an exclusive horror block uh, setup. Oh, it's got posable arms and everything. That's pretty cool. And of course that Spike there with his yellow eyes and blood splatter. Pretty neat. All right. Oh, we got two shirts. So we'll do those last. Well, second last. Uh, I did get a Walking Dead decal. Uh, pretty cool looking. I don't know where I'll stick it, but I'll find some place. This is neat. They actually got a DVD. Now, Choose Their Kill, season one. Uh, Horror Block presents and associated with Eli Roth. Cool. So I guess this is a uh, TV show. And uh, pretty much it's a show based on how you pick the person to die. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Hey, for, when it comes on the block, I'm happy. So this looks pretty interesting. I guess there is um, seven, up, seven episodes. Never heard anything about this. If you've seen the show, let me know. Uh, I'll probably give it a watch sometime soon. Looks pretty cool. Alright. Uh, the stupid little card that you get that tells you what's all on it. Alright, let's do the shirts. The main shirt is... Now, since I just did a uh, Top 10 Tuesday based on werewolves, you get a American Werewolf in London shirt. That is pretty awesome. I'm trying to do this one-handed. I got a tripod coming in the mail soon, so I can't wait to get that going. But that's pretty badass. I like that. Got all the blood, the eyes, the uh, the face itself. Pretty cool movie. And of course, what the hell is that? Some kind of oh, it's the clock tower. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's just a plain black. Side. Now the bonus shirt. They give you another shirt. Manco. Okay, it's a Team Fortress 2 shirt. Awkward. I don't know why this is in a horror block. But. Team Red versus Team Blue. Uh, the, the Blue and Corn Edition. Okay. Uh. Almost looks like a regular Nintendo shirt. Almost like a regular Nintendo uh, box. That's pretty cool. I have played this game before, and I enjoyed it. It was a stress reliever for me. So they probably put this in because they have a partner with a video game uh, block, mystery box. And uh, they probably had a whole bunch, so they probably threw this in there. Kind of weird that this is in a horror block. Uh, I saw two t-shirts, I'm like, okay, that's great, but then I noticed it's a video game t-shirt, that this is a first-person shooter, 
nothing to do with horror except for there was an expansion that if you got the aliens game you got an alien uh costume for one of the characters but hey another t-shirt's cool and of course i like team fortress 2 but kind of weird that it's in a horror block and last come on out there's the room or well this was for cub pretty cool i can't wait to see what this movie is about i read the synopsis on it and it looks pretty cool i think it's a bunch of uh boy scouts that get stuck in the woods they meet a feral kid and the feral kid leads them into a trap with this crazed hunter so he's like working for him yeah. i can't wait to check out the movie i think the movie comes out soon but anyway uh, I said here's the setup Buffy the Vampire Slayer Spike <laughs> what the hell he's got there but <clears throat> the rest of it uh, American Werewolf and shirt that's awesome it's for London the choose their kill DVD collection so it gets an exclusive DVD of the original series on the twisted minds of Crypt TV okay Blue Morgue, a Walking Dead car decal. I might throw that in my car. I love Walking Dead. And of course, the mystery shirt, which had nothing to do with uh, the horror block, but like I said it is in conjunction with uh, the classic and arcade block. So it is the uh, Pi and X low layover of extra shirts they had. And if you can see right here. Since you're getting horror block, we figured we'd throw in a bonus shirt from our classic or arcade block. And so you can see what you've been missing. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I love my horror stuff. I also love my gaming stuff, but some of that stuff. Uh, it's alright. But I do love Team Fortress 2, so that is a win-win for me. So I'm happy. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you like this horror block unboxing. I know I did. I thought this is a lot better than the, the last block. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Check everyone else's uh, horror blocks. Thanks, guys. Uh, please post some comments down below. Love to hear from you. Later.